buddies and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taina. I do all types of fun stuff, but mostly I'm just living life. So checking back in. It's been a while. Um, for those of you who didn't see my last video, which was in October because I'll get there. It'll make sense in a second. So in October, I picked up everything, got in the car, and drove to California. Didn't come back. I just, I live here now. I am a Oakland resident. Yes. Yes. Now the sad part about this is, is I haven't been able to explore Oakland like at all. Moving is hard. Moving cross country is harder. Moving cross country in a pandemic is even harder. Moving cross country in a pandemic with a puppy while driving. Do I have to say more? That's why I was beyond excited to make this vlog and explore my new city. Shout out to Comcast California for sponsoring this video and for all the big moves they're making in Oakland and the impact they have in the community. The places we're going to be visiting in our little journey through Oakland are all part of the Comcast Rise program. It's a really cool program that started in 2020 to help small business owners of color um, support their business, whether it be through like monetary um, grants, it could be through tech, through marketing, whatever it is, they're getting that support. If you're wondering what RISE stands for, it stands for Representation, Investment, Strength, and Empowerment. It's a national effort that started last year when they realized that everybody was affected by the pandemic, but small businesses of color were affected exponentially more. Um, did I say expected? I definitely meant affected. Anyway. <laughs> You probably saw all over Twitter, there was a call to action for a lot of big corporations. Like, okay, you're saying you support the community, you say you want to be with us in this time. Open your purse. Where is the cash? This program can include some monetary grants, and that's all through the Comcast Rise Investment Fund, which provides a $10,000 grant to businesses in need. $10,000. I really had to pause. Like, it's $10,000, there's no stipulations, just $10,000 for them to do what they need to do. And going back to the opening your purse comment, you know that in this world, or we all know that in this world, capital counts. Since its inception, Comcast Rise has granted more than $11 million in grant money. It's affected over 670 entrepreneurs in 34 states. Girl, that's big. Like, this is a huge program. So I'm so excited to be working with them and see what they've done specifically in my city. I, uh, yeah. I'm just real hype. And we're gonna start our journey really soon. I'm gonna tell you specifically about each of the businesses I decided to visit, give you their information, their websites, all linked in the bio. What I'll also give you links is the directory. So Comcast actually put together a directory of their um, Comcast Rise businesses. There's over 300 small businesses in California that are ready for you to come on by. You can search this directory by product, by store location, by service, whatever you need, they got you, all right? And I'm also gonna have that link below so you can go and support, because that's really what we need here. I think that's enough on the backstory for now, so let's go. Hi y'all, me again. So this one's gonna be a mix of me voicing it over for you and some live thoughts. I wanted to do a mix of the two because I wanted you to get my real live reactions, but also I wanted to be able to like highlight the businesses without having to worry about like copyright strikes or things like that. And just kind of focus on like getting everything in the shop. So for example, this one, they have such great details. This artwork that's on their packaging and on their walls of their salon is done by their niece. You can tell they pay attention to every detail in their shop and in their work, but I'll let you hear it from me at the salon. <laughs> Wow, did we transform? We transformed, look at this. I can't wait, my hair is gonna dry and I'm gonna be so cute. No, because this is art, friends. There's art on my face. So, I wanted to tell y'all more about the geniuses behind this. You guys see this? You guys see this? As a, a beauty lover, as somebody who loves getting my lashes done, I had to actually stop. It took all of my days. Like, I would be there from 1 to, like, 6. Like, what am I supposed to do? And then, you know, if you're busy and you're working, like, I get two days to myself out of the week, Sunday and Saturday. And if you're taking one of them, then it's just, it's not worth it for me. It never was worth it. But now, it is worth it. So, my marvelous sisters in the back here, <laughs> my Lash BFFs, they actually have a duo service. So, both of them. Worked on these beautiful eyes that you see together at the same time. And I bet you wouldn't have known that if I didn't just tell you right now. Why? Because they're identical. They actually have a system that they created over some years. They have special lash maps for this process. And then, of course, they have their sister chemistry. And it ends up with 
some beautiful lashes. Like, I, I can't even begin to explain how happy I am. And when I tell you how long this took, I'm waiting for the dog drop. I need to make this like a dramatic reveal. I think I'm gonna add in a drum roll, like a little drum roll effect. Let's go drum roll. 45 minutes. This was 45 minutes. Do you know how much hair I have? Y'all know how much hair I have. 45 minutes. Get them on Vogue. That's all I'm gonna say. Get them on Vogue. Get them on Vogue. Now. <laughs> No, y'all, I can't wait to go back. But the next place that I went to was Taylor J Collection in the Uptown Northgate area. This shop is just a vibe. This is a black woman owned business. She is a designer and her clothes. I have to pause again. I'm sorry. I have to do so many dramatic pauses, but like they're just so amazing. The fabric quality. Oh my God. Like if you're looking to get into your grown woman closet, which is what I like to say that I'm transitioning my closet into right now. This is the place you need to be. She has everyday wear, but it's cozy and it's comfortable and it's really chic. And it's also smart and efficient. Like there's this one dress that is a dress, but it's also a sweater. So you see that top part makes it a sweater, but then when you flip it around, the top part becomes a skirt for a dress. It's just, it's awesome. Don't even get me started on that color scheme and aesthetic. Girl, 10 out of 10. Taylor did that. Okay, okay, cool. So, I showed TikTok, but I didn't show you guys. So this is my little, you know what, let me take this off. This is my little jumpsuit I got at Taylor J's. Yes. Yes, you already know what's given. A little booty, hair, a little fit check. Boom, all right. And I put it with this little jacket. And then I got my pink tail car, my medium pink. And then I just did little like rings and crap. Um, anyways, now that I don't look like a wet poodle today, we are continuing our adventure through Oakland. Today's first stop is to continue the baddie vacation. I'm going to get my nails done this time around, and I'm so excited. So we're going to Cupid's Nail Spa. Um, if you did it to the beginning of the video and you skip around YouTube like me, hi, I'm Taina. And we're touring Oakland, and we're going to the Comcast Rise businesses. And they're the bomb. So far, I've been to... 20 lash. I got my dual lash service. So I see my little, my blinkers. Okay. And I got this nice little jumpsuit from Taylor J's. Boom. Feel like a whole puddle. And now, finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, or at least what I've been waiting for. Thinking about the end nails done. They feel crazy. I'm so excited. I'm not even getting any acrylics, just like my natural nails. Just put a little color, just a little confidence boost because. Yikes, me. Yikes. Um, Cuticles Nail Spa specializes in natural nails, though. So, perfect for me. Because that's what I got. Hopefully, they can get around me being a nail biter. But we're going to see, you know. I can't blame them. They can't work miracles if the nail's not there. Anyways, we are on my way. On my way. We are on our way. I'm going to pretend I can speak today. We are on our way. We're waiting for the Uber. We have, like, eight minutes. So, I've had it to film. Um, but, yeah. We're going to head to Nils, and then I'll tell you what's next. Or should I tell you now? No, scratch that. I'm going to tell you now. Um, we're doing Nils, and then we're going shopping. And then it's time for my favorite thing to do. Aside from shopping and getting cute, it's time to eat. It's time to eat. And if you know me, I'm a chicken and waffles girl, and we are headed to the home of chicken and waffles. So, period. That's what I have to say. I'm going to have a great Friday, you look cute. Baby got my hair for me. Isn't he good in there? All right, all right. Now we're gonna be late. Bye. Hello again from editing Taina. What's good, y'all? So the next step was to go to cuticles, like we said, and they really just lived up to my expectation. I will tell you all about it live right after my manicure because I was just feeling so happy. Um, yeah, you're gonna see, but the salon is beautiful. Another one of these like aesthetically pleasing black woman owned businesses. I don't know if like owning a business as a black woman has to come with like an interior design certification or something because all of the ones I've seen, girl, like the salon looks good, but also they're like obviously just amazing at what they do, but the spaces that they have. You know what? Maybe that's why they're so great because they create amazing spaces that match the quality of their work. Shoot. They might, you know what? Let me keep that in mind for myself. So while we enjoy this video of the shop owner Tamika 
giving my nails the best treatment they've probably gotten in like 10 years. I just, I just want to talk. Like I was at the salon and I had a black woman doing my nails and I had just come from another two woman owned businesses. And I'm just like, are we winning or are we winning? And it's crazy because we all know that women-owned businesses really struggle in terms of having access to capital or like funding options. And then on top of that, there's actually data showing that women-owned businesses were really hit hard during the pandemic as well. So to see that I went to all of these women-owned businesses and some more coming up as well, and they're all thriving, they're all doing amazing. Like, are we winning? I think we're winning. It just makes me think of another reason why I was so stoked to partner with Comcast Rise. Nearly 70% of the business owners awarded through the program since November have been women of color. Like, we're winning once again, but also I love that we are being cared for and acknowledged because, let's be real, we run this. Black women are trend makers and trailblazers, and that's just fact. Now that I got the attention of women though, I do wanna mention that Comcast is actually opening up Comcast Rise to all women beginning in January, 2022. So if you need marketing support, like TV media, if you need advertising consulting, if you need tech upgrades, if you need a $10,000 monetary grant, and let's be real girl, who doesn't need a $10,000 monetary grant? you can apply and you should because girl listen whenever i figure out which one of the businesses in my notes app is going to be legit and be a business that actually works for me you know i'll be applying to this program too and it's wild because it's like a cheat code like i would be in the company of women who are already doing some like really cool things in their field for example there's 20 lash with their duo lash service where in the world are you going to get in and out for your lashes in 45 minutes and have two people working on them and keep the same quality and everything like where let me know nowhere at least nowhere that i know and if you know somewhere you let me know then because yeah or Taylor J with her like super comfortable, high quality luxe clothing. Like luxe and comfort, I feel like for women don't really go together at all. For some reason, everything that's like meant to look good on us feels uncomfortable. It Yeah, I have issues with the clothing industry. That's a whole nother topic. But she said, yeah, bump that. I'm going to make some stuff that I feel good in and I look good in and I can always appreciate that. And she's just giving the girls what they need, all right? She's giving, like, everything I needed. I That's me. I am lazy girl chic. So she did that for me. Then we have Cuticles Nail Spa, who is just a black-owned nail shop. And I don't know if this is common where everybody's from, but I know even in New York, I didn't know a lot of black-owned nail shops. Um, it's like a they were dying out. I'm pretty sure I've seen articles about this topic. So being a black owned nail shop that survived the pandemic and a bunch of other things, considering they've been in there for 15 years, one, five, 15, like the majority of my life, she has been in this shop and they are thriving. That is huge. So I just want to like give these women their kudos in this video because they're superstars and they're all so friendly and just so welcoming. Like I almost didn't want to vlog in some of these uh, moments because it was just like, I was just really enjoying their company. Like they are so kind. I will have all of these websites linked below and links where you can schedule appointments with them if they offer online booking and y'all definitely want to click those. But anyways, I know y'all are tired of me being in my bag. So <laughs> back to the treatment. Um, I'm really sad because I had some footage right outside of cuticles that was live, like I mentioned, but just playing it through, I realized that it's on a busy street and you can't hear a thing I'm saying. So I don't want to do her like that because she deserves that glowing review. As y'all have seen, we've been here for a while and these are just my natural nails and y'all know I'm a nail biter. So not only were they tore up but they're like barely there like I don't even have a nail yet she was like doing things for like a while like and she was just doing all types of stuff all types of tools lotions and oils and yeah my cuticles have never looked this good I honestly I like I said it's been a while since I thought anybody has treated my nails this kindly and I haven't seen my cuticles look like this I want to say almost ever and listen, friend, if you've been here before, you know I've done all types of stuff to my nail. I've been an ANC girl. I have been an acrylic girl. 
Okay, well, mostly just those two, honestly. But I will say that every time I go to the nail salon, I always come out with some kind of little nick on the side of my like finger and the cuticle area where they just got me with a machine or got me while they were cleaning something. And my skin's really sensitive, so I'm just like, I blame it on that. It's happened in like every single one. So I'm like, okay, cool. Like it must be a me thing. But then again, I do be going to nail salons under the train tracks. And um, well, if you know, you know what that means. But yeah, I ain't come out with no cuts whatsoever. And that's really new. And I kind of I kind of liked it. Like, is this going to be my natural nail era? Shoot, let me find out. I moved to California to be a whole new girl. Speaking of a whole new girl, look at this cut of my hair. Doesn't it look amazing? I don't know if this is weird, but like I gauge if I'm meant to be somewhere, if my hair reacts to it well. So this is a sign. Anyway, now that my hair, lashes, and nails was dead and I was fancy, it was time to do some more shopping. So this is E14 Gallery and debatably one of my favorite places that I visited. Um, the store was great itself, but I was actually lucky enough to walk in at the same time as the former Minister of Culture of the Black Panther Party. Like, how, how lucky is that? Like, for real, for real, y'all, I met Emery Douglas, the Minister of Culture of the Black Panther Party. I had to say it again because, wow, um, I have proof on my TikTok. I just didn't get a horizontal video for YouTube. His work is actually displayed in this store. This is what you're looking at right now. Um, it's on display, but it's also for sale. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, is the only place that his art is currently for sale if you wanted to buy some. So definitely check that out. There's also a bunch of other art in this store. This is art from the shop owner that's beautiful. He also has murals all around downtown Oakland in the same style. They have these beautiful children's books geared toward children of color. All the artists and creators who are featured here are local artists, and the majority of them are also artists of color, as is seen in their art, which I think is really, really cool. But it doesn't really stop there for this place. There's stuff like stickers. I actually picked up one, which you'll see later. There's beauty products. There's jewelry, which <laughs> I also picked up. And of course, there's candles. And you know, if there's a candle, I got to have it. So this is my little haul from E14. Definitely go check it out. Okay, y'all, so don't judge me, but I planned both days around the home of chicken and waffles being my last stop. I was determined to make this the end of my tour because something told me that this was going to be that spot. And let me just say, my foodie intuition never lies. I will say more, but I got my first spice live, so y'all gonna see that. At the end of this, I do run off to go munch on my food so i'm gonna say bye now but enjoy so unfortunately my camera is dying damn i look good in this camera anyway uh unfortunately it is dying so i'm gonna try to get my first bite of this chicken on camera for y'all let's see i'll get a little bite Yes. Yes. My mac is good. I would recommend the cornbread. So I need butter on everything. Look, don't stop on my house. Oh, I don't even know if I'll be able to play this or you can hear me, but if anything, I'll do a voiceover. But if I don't have to do a voiceover, so I got. Two pieces of chicken, a waffle, um, some cornbread, some biscuits, some mac and cheese. Yeah. No, I gotta go. I gotta eat this.